I am telling you, why are you collecting at one place? Go to bed or come on this side. Get up. Just boys, get up. Then sit there. Yes, boys. You have gone through in general anatomy the basic tissues of the body. Why are you surprised? There are four basic tissues of the body: epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular, and nervous tissue. Good. So today I will talk about the epithelial tissue. the epithelial tissue is the tissue of the body which covers the surface of the body one also it covers the viscerals on their external surfaces and cavities on their internal surfaces don't stand here come and listen all of you if you are late 5 minutes but don't cross in front go to back today i am permitting you if you are late 5 minutes maximum 10 minutes don't stand there enter in the class go by that row and sit down don't cross in front the reason is i don't want to disturb the whole class okay so take it granted forever so i am talking of epithelial tissues the epithelial tissues covers the outer surface of the body as you know that the body is covered by the skin secondly it covers the viscerals external surfaces of the viscerals and also the interior of the cavities of the body this tissue is consisting of closely packed cells the cells which are forming this tissue are very closely packed the intercellular substances are very less another thing the epithelial tissue is the bloodless tissue there is no blood supply in epithelium one thing it is receiving its nutrition from the connective tissues which is lying below the epithelial tissue so it survives but itself is having no blood supply so a vascular but the regeneration power of the epithelium is very high because it undergoes mitotic division repeatedly so the dead cells are replaced immediately by the fresh cells the reason is because regeneration of the epithelium is very high and how it is going by the mitotic division it serves the function protection of the body protection from the sun rays ultraviolet light and also from the mechanical injury as you know that if there is a cut the cut is replaced by fresh tissue within a week or maybe more but it is replaced so all these are the characteristic features of the epithelium so what is the epithelium epithelium is that part of the epithelium which is covering the outer surface of the body and also the outer surface of the viscerals and the interior of the cavities of the body and its special features we know after knowing all these things we classify the epithelium the classification of the epithelium on the basis of how many layers of the tissue are present so first classification is on the basis of the layers of the epithelium according to this we classify the epithelium into the simple epithelium 
understand stratified epithelium and the pseudo stratified epithelium so on the basis of the layers how many layers are present in the epithelium we classify the epithelium into three categories the simple epithelium the pseudo stratified epithelium and stratified epithelium simple means simple single layer of the cells okay very simple the stratified whenever we use the word stratified means more than one layer of the cells the layer of the cells may be two or more than two may be up to five to six that come under the head of stratified epithelium pseudo whenever we use the word pseudo that means false try to understand whenever we use the pseudo word in anterior to any one that means false here the pseudo word is used the epithelium is neither simple epithelium nor stratified but it gives the impression when we see the pseudo stratified epithelium under the microscope it gives the picture of stratification the reason is the cells are present different lengths and different shape and the position of the nuclei are at different level due to that it gives the false impression of the stratified but exactly it is not stratified and not simple so that category is used as pseudo stratified epithelium clear now see one by one look as i told you look here this is the epithelium below the epithelium you are seeing the part of connective tissue and the connective tissue or you can say understand in other words epithelium are resting over the basement membrane epithelium are resting over the basement membrane without support it cannot be exist and what is the support the support is of basement membrane this basement membrane is a part of connective tissue and it is having the two layers the basal lamina and the reticular lamina in reticular lamina the fibers are reticular fibers as you have gone through the connective tissue which is consisting of cells fibers ground substance fibers are of three types collagen fibers elastic fibers and reticular fibers i use here the word reticular fibers one thing another thing just about this basement membrane there is the part of lamina propria that will come when we will see the slides of git and other part the lamina propria is a loose connective tissue we divide the connective tissue into loose and dense so below this epithelial cells in some slides you will find the lamina propria so what is the lamina propria that is the loose connective tissue which is rich in the blood supply and lymphatics the lamina propria and epithelium combinedly named as mucosa you will come across the word mucosa madam so better you ask us why don't you write i am very much surprised why the students are coming in the class for what purpose why don't you take the class notes this thing i should tell you the thing which i am telling you you will see the many pages of the books then you will understand for the lamina propria you will open the another page for the mucosa you will open the another page similarly for the epithelium so i told you the word mucosa mucosa is including epithelium plus lamina propria combinedly it is named as mucosa when you will go under the git and other parts 
this word will commonly come mucosa and the teacher asks you what is the mucosa so if you know you can reply otherwise you will remain mask face after this then we see the classification of the simple epithelium i am talking first the simple epithelium simple epithelium depending upon the shape of the cells no doubt all the cells are present in single layer one thing when we talk the simple epithelium all the cells are present in single layer but depending upon the shape of the cells we again classify the simple epithelium now see one by one if the cells are flattened chapte see lying over the basement membrane this is the basement membrane dark brown color and below the basement membrane this is the part of lamina propria okay now important thing the see the shape of the cells shape of the cells is flattened chapte and also see the nucleus the nucleus always you will draw with violet color dikh raha hai aapko and that is very important because on the basis of epithelium we can classify the slide of this tissue it is of connective tissue it is of nervous system or git or what so very important thing always see the shape of the cells if the shape of the cells is flattened nucleus is also flattened that means it is simple squamous epithelium this is called simple squamous epithelium the example where you will find the simple squamous epithelium skin also the lung alveoli i am talking of alveoli because when you will read the lung there is the trachea enters the lung it divides into the bronchioles the bronchioles are further divided into terminal bronchioles respiratory bronchioles like this bronchioles further divided into alveoli so where you find the simple squamous epithelium you will focus the alveoli the dilated spaces are both focus karo tab aapko squamous epithelium dikhe not in the bronchioles okay so this thing should be clear in your mind when you will see the slide of lung in bronchiole you will find the different epithelium pseudo stratified and like that as you come to the alveoli the epithelium is squamous which is squamous simple squamous so example simple squamous epithelium of the lung alveoli another in kidney you will see this in the <coughs> parietal layer of the bowman's capsule parietal layer of the bowman's capsule so these are the various sites where you will find the simple squamous epithelium the function is protection one protection is for every epithelium also helps in the diffusion and also for the exchange of the gases in lung depending upon the tissue where it is present according to that it will serve its function all right see the second in which see the shape of the cell kaun si shape hai cuboidal the cuboidal cells are the cells the length and width of the cells are equal length and width of the cells are equal the position of the nucleus is centrally present dekhiye see it carefully the nucleus are present centrally okay and the length and width of the cells are equal so this is called simple cuboidal epithelium rest of the thing lamina propria basement membrane are the same nothing change once you identify that this is a simple cuboidal epithelium the next question or the next query in our mind where we find the simple cuboidal epithelium 
best example thyroid follicle thyroid follicle also on the surface of ovary i am using the word surface of the ovary is lined by simple cuboidal epithelium third tubules of the kidney i am using the word tubules of the kidney tubules may be the distal convoluted tubule it may be the proximal convoluted tubule in both you will find the simple cuboidal epithelium next come to the part of see the third one difference between the first two the third layer is different from the first two or not here the cells are elongated the length of the cells is three times longer than the width first thing the length of the cell or height of the cells is three times longer in the bed and second thing see the nucleus also <coughs> nucleus is neither spherical nor flattened rather it is elongated it is elongated so this type of epithelium is called simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium now the example where we find the simple columnar epithelium the best is stomach as we go in the intestine the stomach is lined by simple columnar epithelium then come to the part of the small intestine and up to the part of large there you will find the simple columnar epithelium the columnar epithelium may slightly surface will be changed that we will talk later on one by one not at present at present you understand where we find the simple columnar epithelium it is also seen in the part of gall bladder where you also find no doubt the surface of the columnar cell is showing the breast border that we will talk later on but the cells columnar then look the fourth one the difference between these two is just superficial surface on the superficial surface of the columnar cells you are seeing the finger like projection these are called the cilia so this is called ciliated columnar epithelium and the ciliated columnar epithelium the best example is fallopian tube so that is all about the simple and epithelium then we come to the next pseudo stratified epithelium look this one see carefully the cells are not equal in shape some cells are ciliated elongated columnar cell between the two columnar cells you are seeing the short cells not reaching up to the surface this is called short cell and third one which is not so clearly visible here that is the goblet cell look this one this is the goblet cell so three type of the cells are there the shape of the three type of cells differ some are columnar cell some are the short cells and third one is the goblet cell but all these three type of the cells they are present in single layer one thing no doubt all are not reaching to the surface are they reaching to the surface all okay so second point the different type shape of the cells are present they lying in the single layer and all of the cells are not reaching to the surface what are the different type of cells some cells are the columnar some cells are the short cells and some are the goblet cells 
Now see the goblet cell. Look here. This goblet cell, it is looking empty. Try to understand. It is looking empty. The reason is it is filled up with the mucus. Goblet cell, when we see under the microscope, but we find the cells are looking empty. Only the nucleus is visible. Nucleus is not in the center, not above. Rather, the nucleus is lying close to the basement membrane. The reason is, the cell is filled up with the mucus and that mucus pushing the nucleus downward and because of that the nucleus is lying close to the basement membrane. Next question. Examiner can ask you, you are saying that cell is filled up with the mucus. Nucleus is lying basement membrane that you can reply because mucus is pushing it. All right. But why not the mucus is seen? The reason is mucus is not stained. Mucus is not stained with hematoxane, eosine stain. In short, it is called HND stain. The slides which you will see in the histology, that slides are stained by hematoxane, eosine. In short, you can write HND stain. In HND stain, the mucus is not taking stain. Understand? Because the mucus is not taking a stain of hematoxin eosine, so it is not seen. It is looking empty. The nucleus taking a stain, basophilic, so it is seen purple color. The epithelial is taking the acidic stain, so seen pink and like that. So I hope now you can reply very well. Any doubt? They came mucus. HND stain nahi leta. The slides jo bhi aap dekhoge, those are stained by HND stain. If we want to see the mucus, we require the special stain. That is not in your course. That is high level talk. So I will not tell you. Okay? That is the reason. Alright. So we have seen this pseudo stratified epithelia and it is called pseudo because it is giving the false impression of stratification. Look, nucleus is different level. Pe. So, it is giving the false impression of stratification but exactly it is all the cells are single layers. Right. The example where we find the pseudo stratified epithelium, best example respiratory tract. Nasal cavity, also the trachea and also the bronchiole and besides this, it is also present in male reproductive system, also present in male reproductive system where you will find the pseudo stratified epithelium. Why are you so serious? Can't you understand? Kada ho. Kya bata hai manna? Boli. Jor se bolo. Kaun si? Huh? Abhi kaun si epithelium bata hai manna? Samaj mani yaar? Kya matlab hota sudo? False kya? Kis sense mein false? Samjha karo. Pseudo, we use the word pseudo means neither this epithelium is simple epithelium nor it is stratified. Stratified mein to do se jada layer hoti hai. Ek layer se jada layer, do bhi ho sakti hai, teen bhi ho sakti hai, paanch bhi ho sakti hai. So that is called stratified. Single layer hai to simple. Or na to simple hai, na pseudo hai, na stratified hai. To konchi ho gai? False. That is pseudo stratified. So example are it 
I have told you. All right. Now come to the part of stratified epithelium. Stratified epithelium. Whenever we use the word stratified, that means the epithelium is more than one layer of the cells. The layer of the cells can be two, it can be three, or it can be five or six. See the first stratified. Now clear yourself. Word stratified means more than one layer. Second, squamous. Try to understand. Second word is squamous. That means superficial cells are squamous. If the it is named as stratified columnar means superficial cells are columnar. Stratified cuboidal means superficial layer is cuboidal. and a stratified bud means more than one layer so this thing should be clear in your mind then you will not face any problem all right so this is the stratified squamous see the next this is also the stratified squamous but there is a difference on the superficial surface in the lower one on superficial surface you are seeing the keratin layer keratin is a type of protein which protects the body from the sunlight or ultraviolet light on our skin this present is steady fat is commerce keratinized epithelium okay now see the word steady fat is commerce non keratinized epithelium means superficial layer is not lined by keratin layer and the cells in it start seeing the cells from the basement membrane just above the basement membrane what is the shape of cells madam i said check karwa lo my question is this is the basement membrane just above the basement membrane what is the shape of cells आई ज्यादा नहीं है क्या सर यू विल बिकम डॉक्टर यू शुड बी वेरी परफेक्ट अबाउट द सेंटीमीटर एंड मिलीमीटर दिस इज लेसन जस्ट अबाउट द बेसमेंट मैमरेन मैक्सिमम द सेल्स आर कॉलिमनर जस्ट अबाउट द कॉलिमनर सेल्स सी द मिडिल लेयर द मिडिल लेयर सेल्स they are about 3 to 5 layers and the shape of the cells is polygonal the polygonal is they are fifth quadrant virendra ji check it out boys one thing keep your mind in three parts the question asked you in there will be two paper first paper second paper in both the papers the one question is of micro anatomy micro anatomy part means you have to draw the this type of the diagram the question asks you suppose describe the micro anatomy of the skin you will draw this such type of the diagram ye lena kaam mein mere ko board white board ka to na yaar ye 
डालना पड़ेगा गूगल गूगल हटा दो This is the columnar cell. This is the basement membrane, and cuboidal cell. You will draw length and breadth of the cells are equal, and nucleus, spherical nucleus, centrally placed. This is the squamous cell. Okay. Now the point is, as I told you, in the stratified squamous epithelium, the middle layer is consisting of polygonal cells. Now, how you will draw the polygonal cell? Sir, ne to three ni bata diye. Look. This is polygonal cells. So middle layer consisting of three to four layers of polygonal cells. Okay. these are the different type of the cells which you will find polygonal cells always present in the middle layer now the part is that after the middle layer the cells are squamous in the stratified squamous epithelium and below this basement membrane what you are find that is the lamina propria okay so such type of the picture if you see under the microscope you can identify the slide that slide is of stratified squamous non gelatinized epithelium example where you find it is present in the skin one thing and also it is present over the vagina all right if we see the part of oral cavity in the oral cavity in the esophagus again you will find the stratified squamous non gelatinized epithelium so the examples of the stratified squamous non gelatinized epithelium are oral cavity esophagus don't write the skin here skin we will talk about the gelatinous i am talking of non gelatinous so oral cavity esophagus also the vagina and this thing where you will find the stratified squamous non gelatinous epithelium then come to the next stratified squamous gelatinous epithelium the stratified squamous gelatinous epithelium this is present over the skin of the body and what is the keratin that is the type of protein which protects the body from the ultraviolet light so we have just talk the simple the 
pseudostratified and stratified. Then next to the stratified, look here. The cells are present not in one layer. They are present in two layers. They are present again two layers. Right? Don't see third one. These two, where the cells are present in double layer, what is the shape of the cells here? Cuboidal? What is the shape of cells here? Superficial columnar. Superficial columnar below is cuboidal. So such type of epithelium, this is named as stratified cuboidal epithelium. This stratified cuboidal epithelium is generally present in the ducts of the glands, sweat glands, salivary glands, ducts. They are showing the stratified cuboidal epithelium. When we use the word stratified, means more than one layer. And cuboidal means both the layers are cuboidal. And the site example where we find these are the part of ducts of the salivary glands and sweat glands. So when you will see the slide of sweat glands or salivary glands, you will find such type of epithelium. Okay. Now see the another one. Here the superficial cells are columnar and below is cuboidal. So we will use the word here stratified columnar epithelium. And the stratified columnar epithelium is the one example conjunctiva of the eye. Conjunctiva of the eye. Here you find the stratified columnar epithelium. Is it clear? No doubt. Then come to the another one. Look the third one, last. This is called transitional epithelium. Transitional epithelium. In transitional epithelium, lying over the basement membrane, the cells can be cuboidal or columnar, both. Underline that. Because the student confused, sir, cell columnar is required. It may be the columnar, it may be the cuboidal, lying over the basement membrane. First thing, underline color. So confusion nahi raiga. Middle layer, again the polygonal cells. And also underline this, the middle layer of the transitional epithelium have a less than three layers. Underline that. The middle layer of transitional epithelium never less than three layers. Superficial layer. Superficial layer is of dome facet shaped cell, DOME, dome facet shaped cell, or umbrella shaped cell. आप किताब बंद कर दीजिए मैडम कौन सी किताब है आपकी ये घर जाके पढ़ लेना समझ गए अभी अंडरस्टैंड कर लो अभी जब क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा जवाब नहीं दे पाओ आई डोंट लाइक दिस थिंग आई टोल्ड यू दैट इन ट्रांजिशनल एपिथीरियम लाइंग ओवर द बेसमेंट मैम दे इन द सेल कैन बी क्यूबर्डल और कॉलिंग वन थिंग Middle layer, polygonal cells. Only the characteristic feature that middle layer is never less than three layers. Superficial layer, 
इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ डोंग फेसर शेप सेल और अम्ब्रेला शेप सेल अम्ब्रेला तो सब जानते हो उसकी अंडर सरफेस कैसी होती है कर सी एयर दिस इज दी ट्यूबर्टल सेल एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो दी लेंथ एंड ब्रिथ ऑफ द सेल्स आर इक्वल न्यूक्लियस इज सेंट्रली प्लेस बट वाई वाट इज द डिफरेंस आई मेक इट्स अंडर सरफेस आर्च इट्स अंडर सरफेस इज आर्च सो इट इज कॉल्ड अम्ब्रेला शेप सेल और दिस डॉम फेस शेप सेल they are present only in the transitional epithelium nothing else so always know the shape of the cell the superficial cells of transitional epithelium are umbrella shaped cells or the dome facet shaped cells the transitional epithelium is present in ureter urinary bladder ureter and urinary bladder nothing else i had told you that the cells are maybe up to 3 layers middle layer cells can be up to 3 layers or up to 5 to 6 layer the reason is if we take the tissue of the person during empty bladder where the transitional epithelium present in ureter or urinary bladder right so if we take the tissue of the person in empty bladder then abhi jagah aapko mil jayegi to failoge nahi failoge okay so if we take during the empty bladder that epithelium will spread it will show the 5 to 6 layer but if the bladder is full the epithelium will be compressed in that case if we take the slide tissue then the transitional epithelium will be showing 3 to 2 to 3 layers 3 to 4 layers because of that i am telling you that middle layer of the transitional epithelium can be 3 layers or up to 5 to 6 layers depending upon in which condition we have taken the tissue in empty bladder it is showing the 5 to 6 layer in fullness it is showing 3 layers okay clear so you can reply all right now the next question will ask examiners why the superficial layer are dome facet shaped cell why they are umbrella simple cuboidal kyun dal di the reason is in case of empty bladder when the polygonal cells spread they will come here right and they will push here so they will get the space for the spread if it will be the straight line if the inferior border is straight they cannot force that is the reason for the spreading of the or for the easiness of the middle layer the superficial cells of the bladder are umbrella shaped cells so that is the example of transitional epithelium so these are the various slides which you will see in the first class of histology and you know the examples of each epithelium okay now in histology what you will do that you will focus the slide and see suppose you have focused the simple epithelium all right so the what slide you will get give me tell me for simple squamous epithelium what slide which will be given to you either the bowman's capsule the kidney slide okay or either the lung slide and the lung slide you will focus the bronchiole the lung alveoli and like that the point is that when we are clear about the location we can reach easily if we don't know the location 
घूमते रहोगे सी इन द गूगल दैट विल ऑल्सो मेक यू रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन द सेम थिंग इज हियर बिफोर सींग द स्लाइड गो थ्रो इट्स चोरी पार्ट देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वेरी वेल about the microscope because i will not take your practical class otherwise in first class i will come and i will tell you the fine adjustment the course and every part so you can use the properly the microscope and very important part see the slide cover slip first first of all you adjust the light all the microscope are with the light connected so need not to see the natural light and first of all focus the light after focusing the light see the slide the cover slip of the slide always keep it upwards apni taraf dekhte hue rakhna not opposite otherwise the slide will cut damage so develop this habit first of all see the cover slip of the slide and keep the cover slip upward and then focus the slide first right under the fine adjustment when you are or you want to yourself to see more clarity after the seeing the slide under the fine adjustment focus under the 40x that means 10x is a fine and then come to the 40x that will show you the very right next and another thing but always don't focus the slide under the 40 directly first see under the 10x then come to the 40 and another is oil immersion that you don't need oil immersion nahi karna i am talking of the objectives in the microscope first is the i have no diagram otherwise i will show you that so that thing will be more clear when i will come to the practical class and tell you first all the things or i will please tell the teachers that show you the different parts of the microscope first and how you will use it the important part keep this thing in your mind in every paper the question will ask you describe the microscopic anatomy that means you need not to try the theory part maximum what the student do they just write the cross anatomy of the tissue listen try to understand they write cross anatomy of the are madam sun lijiye fir galti kar kya hogi in question microscopic anatomy of the tissue suppose the lung what the student do the mistake they describe the lung gross anatomy pleura different layers and this and fill up the three or four pages but they don't draw the diagram in this question the diagram is very important and not only the diagram but well level kaun sa part kya hai usko aap well level kare and draw the diagram perfectly and bell level the diagram after this describe how you identify the slide two or three points of its identification that how you identify that this slide is of lung that we will teach you that part you write down if you have written these two things you will get the full marks understand so don't do the mistake because i had noticed many times and after telling the student they don't understand what they should do microscopic anatomy means histology and histology is <coughs> the bell level diagram and the identification points of that tissue if the further question asked you in that reply that or try to understand in medical this is not the subject of arts where the number are given on the number of pages 
वॉट एवर द क्वेश्चन रिप्लाई पॉइंट टू पॉइंट ऑल्सो द ग्रॉस अदरवाइज द प्रॉब्लम अराइज द स्टूडेंट नो द्वेश्चन विच दे रेड और नो द वेरी वेल दे राइट डाउन द नंबर ऑफ पेजेस Ultimately, what happens that in the next question they have the least time, and they don't attempt. So don't do this thing. Write down the question answer point to point. You will get the full marks. Okay, and whatever the topic we teach you, go through its MCQ. It is given in the books. Solve out the MCQ at the same time. So. you will keep yourself well in position to reply the answer of mc otherwise once your topic will gone you will forget so solve out it mc q also at the same time so develop this habit as we are teaching you first the bones now it will be easier for you to understand the muscles different muscles their attachment and they are not supply everything from monday onwards you will start the gross part we will issue the cadavers also and starting the dissection of the cadaver so bring the 